Hello everyone, Raven of the Retro Dev here. And in this video, as the title suggests, we are going to set up networking inside of 86box. Now, following this tutorial, uh, depending on what network device you have, you can also set it up on a physical machine. However, if you're setting it up on a newer machine, you may have to go somewhere else to get the packet drivers. Um, and I went on ahead and created a packet driver uh, for uh, this tutorial, and it's available for free. Anyone can grab it. it, has some nice install instructions, and it's basically a big package of packet drivers uh, that I assembled. So I also went on ahead and assembled a uh, floppy image for uh, Arachne. I'm not going to provide a zip of it. Uh, you can grab it on the website. The link to that is in the description. But if you're on a physical machine or 86 box, it's easy to just mount a floppy compared to, you know, mounting the drive, copying it over, restarting the emulator, all that sort of stuff. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we need to do in, in 86 box is we need to actually set up our networking. I don't know why I can't click it. And for this tutorial, we're going to use the Novell NE2000. Uh, it's pretty common and drivers for it exist literally everywhere. And you can use any adapter here that you like so long as you can find the driver for it. Um, there's quite a few in here, but the ISA 16 Novell NE2000 will work perfectly fine for DOS. And then we just want to configure it here. And I just left everything at default. Uh, you can change this if you like, but it's just as easy to just, you know, leave this as is. And the next thing that we need to do is actually mount. Okay, so let's that image, disks, drivers, load packet, and then we will go to it and do a dir. And you can see I've put in quite a lot of them in here and there's lovely readme. So if I do more readme.txt, enter. I'm gonna full screen this. Oh, let me do that again really quick. And you can see I included everything and where I got all these packet drivers from. And a few of these go off screen, but can't do anything about that. And it also has some instructions on how to install it. So we have the uh, NE2000. So if we do endure again here, we want to do... Whoop, Sorry, I want to do CD Novell and then another directory. And you can see we have any 2000 in here. And there it is. OK, so I'm just going to back out really quick. And I'm just going to do an X copy any 2000. And then we need to know where we want to put it. Now, you can put this driver anywhere you want, uh, but we're specifically going to put it inside of the FreeDOS directory in a drivers folder. So FreeDOS drivers, and basically the slash E slash I will just tell it to uh, copy everything, including subfolders and not ask us if it's a folder or if it's a file. And we'll just hit enter and we'll wait a second. And it copied. And if everything went proper, we can go into FreeDOS drivers then do a dir and you can see our ne2000com is in there now we can't uh actually um use it yet because we need to load it so how do we do that well we want it to load on boot ideally because you know we don't want to load our network driver you know every time we want to use it although that is acceptable you could create a bat file that just loads the driver uh you know as you go but we have a fair bit of memory free in this system. So we're going to load it. We're going to load it into high memory. So let's do an edit fd auto.bat. And then let's just go down here. And I already have mine loaded. Uh, forgot to remove this when I was doing some testing to make sure everything worked perfectly. But that's OK. So down here, I just put a rem, you know, comment. And we're loading into high memory. And this is the location. I don't have a folder for it, so I'm going to make that change. And then I'll just save it. And this is the software interrupt. This is the IRQ. 
And this is the IO port. And now we'll just save, make sure that's saved, and then we'll exit. So now if everything goes right, we can just do a reboot and we'll wait for the system to reboot. And I just realized it's not going to reboot properly because that floppy's in there. Uh, let me reject that floppy. And then let me just do another reboot there. Go back into full screen. And if you pay attention, you'll see as it loads, uh, it loads the package driver. Everything was loaded, no warranty, yada, yada, which is perfectly fine. And you will notice we have the driver. It's right here. Taking up about five kilobytes of memory. Okay. So now we need to actually load the um, web browser we're going to use. So I think I put it in programs. Yep, Arachne. Now, don't forget that, as always, in the description, I have everything you need for uh, the videos. And there's a direct link to the author with the source code, as well as his zip which you would use on like DOSBox or any system where you would need the zip. But I provide this convenient image. It does not include the source code. And we'll just go into A and we'll read the readme. Everything's in there. I do need to make a few changes to this, but that's okay. Everything's in there. It's all nice and good. And we will just do another dirk because I did not change the name. I probably should, but I'm not going to. And we'll just run it. Didn't have to add the executable. And we get this beautiful, do you wish to install the browser? Yes, we do. Do we wish to install it into the default directory? Good Lord, no. Um, I'm going to install it in net and arachne. That's it. And now we will wait as it extracts everything. You know, good old waiting for things to extract. Well, in this case, probably not just extract. This is probably a UPX compressed Starcraft, so you probably have to probably have to do a fair bit of waiting here. Potentially. Okay, finally finished extracting. And now we're left with this ever so lovely. I'm gonna go into full screen here. Uh, and get my mouse so everyone can enjoy the super fast speeds of me not being able to do anything. Um, let's see here. So, hmm. Let's see if we can load it into high color. I, I might be able to do 800 by 600 one megabyte high color. I'm not particularly sure. We can change all this later, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's try the selected graphics mode. Testing processor speed, testing hard drive speed. Dun, 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 dun. Um, it fits into category three. Now we could potentially try fast and optimized, but we'll just stick with what it recommends. Again, you can go through and change this stuff later if you like. We'll just hit next. And then, oh, lovely. Ah, uh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Um, wow. Get all this. So let's see, I think it's, um, ah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. We need to set up a rack name and we'll do 800 by 600. Next. And then here's where we will pick our packet wizard. We'll select that and we'll hit detect packet driver, which it should, oh, they found it. Perfect. And then we'll hit continue because, and we'll hit boot or DHCP and it should go, congratulations. And we can go to the email setup wizard if we like really want to, but I'm not going to set up email in this video. I'm going to hit the home. And still, no, we're still offline. Um, let me see here. We may have to like reboot or something. Let me, let me just restart Arachne there. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. I just, it, it just needed to be restarted so it could load the new config file. No problem. 
So there you have it. You have networking now. You can do quite a lot. Now that you have a packet driver, you can use a whole bunch of stuff like MTCP and all sorts of tools. You can browse the internet. You can go to google.com if you want to. Uh, Google might take a moment. Is it? Uh, whoa, there we go. Google there. Ah, there we go. Never mind. Like that. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. All right. If I can select anything here, that'd be nice. You know, can't control backspace. Uh, let's try 86box.net since that's the emulator we're using. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's that is. That is just beautiful. Now it's gonna probably continuously load uh because you know it can't um I don't think it can load all the Discord stuff. But as you can see, you have a fully functioning web browser, um which is really, really cool. Uh absolutely awesome. Love it. Okay, everyone. So that's it for this video. It's another short to the point video. Uh, in later videos, we'll probably look at different web browsers and we'll probably also, uh, I am going to have a video on DOSBox. So if you have any problems, suggestions, anything like that, um, you know, just send me a message either in the comments or join the forums. You can find me there. You can also find me on Twitter and a whole bunch of places. Uh, everything's in the description though. Um, and, uh, I'm going to stop that because that's ridiculous. Okay. There you go. Yay, we stopped it. Awesome. Okay, so if you like this video, don't forget to like, share it, subscribe, hit that little bell so you get the notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one.